This video will teach you everything you need to know about using digi stamps with Craft Artist 2 Professional. We are using the Punches and Stamps Botanical Kit for this tutorial. The first thing we're going to show you is a really simple technique to recolour your digi stamps. Follow these steps. Drag an embellishment onto your page. Click on a colour here to change its colour. The next technique uses the styles located here on your workspace. Drag another embellishment onto your page. Make sure you have Fill selected on your Colours tab. Go to the Stamps category on your Styles tab. Click one to apply it. As you can see, a stamp effect colour has been applied. You can alter the colour of the stamp as normal on the colour tab. There are differing degrees in this stamp effect. Experiment with the second and third impression stamps. The third technique we're going to show you is how to use different coloured inks on your stamp. Drop one of your digi stamps onto a blank page. Select Fill Tool on Toolbar. Select Linear from this drop down. The little circle here is called a node. Click on one, then change the colour using the colour tab. You can get back to the fill tool at any time by clicking on the toolbar. You can drag these nodes to move the position of the colours, like this. Experiment with other fill types from the drop down. Next, we'll show you how to use the gradient colour picker to colour your stamp. Drop the digi stamp onto a blank page. Drop a material or photo onto your page. Select the colour picker and choose the gradient sampler option from the toolbar. Drag the colour picker over the area of the material that you want to select colours from. Delete your photo or paper, then select the digi stamp and apply the selected gradient by clicking this button. Now we'll show you how to fill in a digi stamp using a piece of material. First, drop a piece of material onto your page. Now add a digi stamp. Select both items and select Crop to Top here. You might not want to just colour the lines of the digi stamp like we've shown you so far. You might want to colour the digi stamps in. We'll now show you a few ways to do this. The first way is to use the brushes. This can be quite a tricky technique and requires a bit of patience to get it right. Try this. Drop a digi stamp onto the page. Select the brush tool. 
and choose the Bristle 10 brush from the natural media brushes here. Select a colour and start painting over your stamp. Build up the colours as you wish. Now try applying one of the stamp styles effects to your digi stamp to give it a softer look. Experiment with the different brush types until you're happy with the effect. We'd recommend select your digi stamp and the brush strokes and converting to a picture at this point to preserve your design. Paper piecing is another technique you might like to try. Drop a material onto your page. Now add a digi stamp. Use the eraser tool to rub out the edges. Group items and convert to a picture to preserve your design. The final technique we're going to show you is how to use the Cutout Studio to paper piece with your digi stamp. Drop a material onto your page, then add a digi stamp. Select both and go to Tools, Convert to Picture. Now open the Cutout Studio and erase the parts of your material you don't want. Click OK. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please check out our YouTube channel for more.